Nothing new about British caravans in Australia. In fact, they've been around for quite a while, but most of them, well, a bit like a warm pint of pale ale. The Bailey, this latest Bailey, is different. In fact, it's a Dinkum Aussie. Come on, coppers, let me show you. This is the Bailey Pamplona. It's one of five new models in the Unicorn 3 range from Bailey. And what distinguishes it from its predecessors is its new face. Bigger opening windows into the, into the heavens, a new fiberglass impact resistant front nose cone, less sculpture than its predecessors, and to my mind, a lot more appealing. In the four years that Bailey Caravans have been sold in Australia, they've had a lot of feedback from Australian buyers, and they told them a number of things. First of all, they wanted more ground clearance. This one has got fully 27 millimetres more ground clearance than its predecessor. Another thing Australian Caravan has told Bailey, they wanted more storage space, but travel. People in Australia travel longer than they do in Britain or Europe. So this van has got absolutely huge storage space. The piece de resistance in this, and something that Australian Caravan has cried out for, is what we like to call the full tunnel boot. And that's this side. And it goes all the way through to the other side. But in making a van for Australia, Bailey haven't cut down on the essentials, and this is still the best of British in all the important things, such as this Alutech full monocoque body shell, very strong, the smooth exterior panels, hail resistant, impact resistant, very smart and thermally very efficient. Things like a bayonet for a gas barbecue or a Weber BBQ if you want outside, a cassette toilet, drop down picnic table, but many things that Aussie caravanners will really appreciate are on the inside of this Aussie Pamplona. Let's have a look. Wow, that's what everyone says when they come inside this Bailey Caravan. It really is a panoramic view and it brings the outside right in. But if there's too much outside, you can all shut it out. Uh, Bailey have also answered another prayer of Australian caravanners who wanted 10%, well they wanted bigger seating, but Bailey's given them 10% extra seating in this area and the overall floor space in this caravan is 15% bigger. And the caravan that's uh, a bit over 6 metres long, 21 feet in the old dimensions, 15% is a lot of extra floor space. Another thing Australians told Bailey is they wanted more bench space, particularly in a caravan that's potentially capable of sleeping four to six people. So they've added an extension to the kitchen bench. Bailey caravans have always looked a million pounds inside and uh, this one's got a few quid extra. This rather beautiful, lightweight, but very attractive cabinetry uh, gives tons of storage space throughout the van. A must-have that Australians demand on any luxury caravan these days is a separate shower toilet ensuite. And the Bailey's got one of these. It uh, perhaps lacks a little bit of the bling and the glitz of the other parts of the van, but it's got a, a separate toilet, vanity basin, and a full fiberglass shower with a, uh, a shutting screen. The rear bedroom in the Bailey with its queen size lift-up bed, space to move around each side, and great storage space, two hanging robes, overhead cupboards, very functional and attractive space, doesn't take up too much room inside the van, but uh, all you need for a good night's sleep. And finally, the things that Australians told Bailey they want in a true Aussie caravan is a washing machine. And this one's got one. Look, and one better, it's even got a clothes basket. It's the first caravan I've seen with a clothes basket built in. Oh, so these are not off in this caravan. It's very comfortable, roomy, beautifully appointed, pretty well finished, all the things the Australian caravaner really needs. And even more, this can be towed by an ordinary Ford Falcon, Holden Commodore, or any number of light to medium sized four wheel drives that really uses very little fuel when it's going behind them. This is a great caravan, I think, for touring the bitumen in Australia. And for my mind, Bailey, you're on a dinky die winner at a price of just under $70,000.